Okay, this is yet another new project where I don't really know. I just wanted to drive cars and I don't have very many driving games right now. And I found this mode quite interesting, so I thought we'd do this for a bit. Today we're driving the Corvette, this Corvette, and we're doing night mode because that's when the cops come out. They only, they, they really only start their shifts during the night time. You can just do any vehicular crimes you want at the day and unless you drive into them. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a whole thing. So basically at night time you're street racing for rep, which is like exposure points, which allow you to drive more expensive cars. It gives you the right to buy cars with money you don't have. So it kind of <laughs> makes the whole thing like, yeah, and parts and stuff. You have to do the night mode basically if you're gonna get like parts. And I'm not sure, but it may help you. <laughs> So I forgot that this game's physics engine fucking sucks. So this might be bad. This is my first time in like over six months since I last played this game. It's really picky about checkpoints. Uh, if you get a too powerful of a level of nitrous, it just forces your car to like break the physics engine and just flip. Doesn't it's not paying attention to spoilers or downforce or anything, it just starts to float into the air. You can see the front wheels are coming off the ground. And this DLC car looks like it actually has two different spoilers on it, so... Like a big spoiler and a little one that's just attached to the bodywork, so... And a diffuser. <laughs> Physics are all fucked. So later on in the uh, in these playthroughs, I stop using the really powerful nitrous and instead just get lots of little canisters of nitrous because it doesn't break the physics of the game. So yeah, this the car we're driving today is the DLC only Corvette, uh, which I was given when I bought this game on sale because the the version that was on sale on my PlayStation 4 store was, um, literally it's not going around the corner, what the fuck. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Yeah, it's typical EA DLC, so yeah. Uh, here, have a load of uh, cars. Basically, pay to get loads of cars for free at the beginning. And there you go. Uh, but it doesn't let you just have this car or the BMW i8 it gives you as well straight away. What's also quite frustrating is it locks you into using the design that they had some designer make this one. So you cannot customize this car other than performance. So if you don't like the purple and sky blue isometric design they've done here, you're just, well, fuck you, buy the car again. Usual EA DLC practices, it's been injected into the game for almost no reason. Uh, it doesn't achieve anything. It almost feels like the DLC was an apology, which is even more fucked up because there's a lot of elements to this game where they added new cars later because people said there was just a daft of content. Um, and it feels like there's still not enough events even after they patched it several times and it still bugged me as all hell. But we're playing it because I have virtually no other racing games. <laughs> Because for some reason, these past few console generations, there's just not been very many racing games on the uh, the PS, the PlayStation that I've particularly dug. So I tried Project Cars, and I really didn't like Project Cars. So 
Yeah. Yeah, and it will just fuck you. It'll say, no, fuck you. I don't care if you're winning. You went slightly wide of a checkpoint. Go back, become eighth. Fuck you. And you're like, oh. Thanks for being so horribly unforgiving. Uh, anyway, yeah, so... Yeah, the, the, the Corvette is designed. We'll, we'll talk about that now. They've got this kind of weird problem. Thanks. Just insult you in this game. Like, they don't know that you can hear them, and it's just like, it's kind of weird having them throw, like, the kind of primary school insults that they throw at you. So, this game has a weird mechanic it barely uses, which just unbalances the car's handling, uh, where you can basically take any car and try, well, technically, and make it on-road, like off-road, drift, or like, and there's like a, there's like a full one of those grids where it can, it can be like leaning towards drift, and off-road, or on-road, you know, like, or race, and it, the big thing is that if you tighten up the, the drift, if you tighten it up too far away from drift, the game just goes, okay, it will never turn ever, fuck you. And you're having to mash the brake and handbrake button to get it around any corner. So it kind of busts the game, the car's handling up, because the handling's not great in this game. It really wants you to drift around a lot of the tighter corners, like or like the big arcing bends in the country lanes further outside of the city. It wants you to drift those. So if you tighten it up too much, your car can't go around those corners anymore. Especially if you're driving a big heavy muscle car with lots of performance and loads of straight line power, but absolutely no, you need that drift. I saw a flamingo, so we're gonna go get these collectible flamingos. While the cops have a baby piss baby fight on their radar. So yeah, like I just use this is the only DLC car I use, and I really originally just used it for lols and just put on all of the spare parts that I had after I'd upgraded everything else to elite level. Oh, policemen's. They're really good at portraying cops as bad loser bullies who have no great insults. Oh, I just missed freestyles there. Open. Yeah, basically do a few jumps and then at the low levels, like heat level 1, 2, and 3, that's enough for them to lose you. Uh, to be honest, at heat level 1, 2, and 3, if you just drive really fast and then mash the um, NOS button down a long straight, they break line of sight because their cars are too slow. And then it gets to like level 4, they pull out the Corvettes and the Chargers, and you're like, I actually have to like do evasive shit. Lost them. I'm calling it off. Well, that was <laughs> They're just talking shit about their cars. What's really annoying is they made this whole like square I was talking about with on road, off road, drift, uh, race, and they kind of fucked it on like making the race too tight so that it fucks up your handling, where it's very hard to haul the thing around the corner. So what happened there? Skipped a bit. Yeah. And 
then the off-road and the drift don't really do anything, if that makes any sense. Like, you have about five events for each, for drift and for off-roading, and you're like, so this whole mechanic was invented for a handful of events. Like, it seems like, why even bother? Yeah. We're not going to stop there yet, because uh, I need to build up enough rep here, and level 50, I think, is where it caps. It might not actually be there. I don't really know or care. Let's pick up this graffiti. If you get all of them, you get, like, some... Uh, well, if you, if you get them, you get, like, an extra decal thing. Um... Yeah, we could do this one, maybe. I prefer sprint races too, and they're mostly at night. The reputation, like I said, it like you need to build so much rep to up your level. When you up your level, you get parts and like cars unlocked and stuff. So it's pretty good. During the day, you're just doing circuit races and grinding it for cash to buy new cars and parts and stuff. So. That's not as fun to watch, and there's no cop chases or anything, so... I want another game kind of like this, kind of like the original Most Wanted, where it's just like, you know, street racing again, and like, you're trying to like, you know, the cops are there a bit more regularly, if that makes sense, a bit more often. It's not just limited to one mode. That'd be pretty good. This car is really fast in a straight line, which for this race is pretty good. <laughs> it's not even like the highest performance rating car in my garage though. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> see what I mean? If they if they see you coming the other way and they have to turn their car around at the low levels, they just can't catch you. You just go straight by them. Something buggy about this game, where like it just kind of randomly stutters and then skips a huge part of like what I'm doing. For some reason, like it just cuts. You will notice it in the video. And it, like, I screen record a lot of stuff for my channel. It's only this buggy as fuck game that screws up so harsh that it just cuts at random. I'm not editing this video. Get out there and find that damn car. They're really bad at finding me, holy shit. <laughs> Can I try this one? Aww, oh, because I skirted the side it counts as... Dead. Okay, I could I could have done better than that, but like, I'm lazy, so... I haven't got enough to get to level 42. Do this one. There's like three really close to each other.
Oh, by the way, pay attention to the Uncanny Valley humans well, because their face textures and their t-shirt textures and everything will just not pop in in time for these. It's really bad. It just nothing pops in in time. But the car looks fairly HD if you stare at it. But like, all of the humans look like absolute ass because they're just not the focus of this game. Ah. Oh. The civilian car got in the way and now there's this police movie. Oh man, that didn't do enough damage. Oh. He crashed anyway on his own. Okay, AI just killed itself. Just tapped him on the back a little bit. So, eventually the enemy AI's cars can be outperformed with like max everything installed on your car so it becomes a lot less skill and a lot more just my car is faster than yours because I pumped in enough in-game currency <laughs> and it just turns into like oh well you know can switch off brain don't actually have to be good at the game just yeah you know, I wish they had a harder you know, higher difficulty, more challenging ones for better rewards, but the game kind of just caps itself around like the 300-ish to 350 performance rating, and if your car is more than that, it's really unbalanced. I will get far. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and run, you won't get away. Gets away immediately. Oh, then smashes into a wall. Alright, uh, we got like a thousand six hundred here, and then I can get to rep level number whatever. Ah, there we go. One speed camera. Because apparently there's a guy just watching the speed cameras in this game and he's just going, fucking sick, look, he's breaking the law. <laughs> it's just... Well, that's nearer, I Let guess. Let him go. Don't be surprised if you see that on your social media feed in the morning. Come on, give us more time to find him. No? Fine. <laughs> I think this is how police people talk to each other. Uh. Yeah, because someone's apparently watching all of these speed traps and going fucking sick and paying me money and rep points. I nearly tried to jump that flat under the log. Uh. Better give him some rep. Also, they will always gender you as he. All the police, even if you've been arrested multiple times and they know your car, they're like, get out there and find him. And I'm playing as a woman. <laughs> so apparently, like, all street races are gendered as males. So that's feels a bit like... I guess they were either too lazy to record things twice, or they just thought, oh, it doesn't matter. Or perhaps they're saying find them, and shortening them, but it's just like, oh, come on, man. Just try and avoid gendering it, then. If you can play as either genders. Just... That looked like fun. Nice work. So that's the first one of this. 